Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. But in today's video, I'm gonna give you a little bit about the things that I've been loving in the month of December. Some of them are kind of old, but I realize in this month, I've been using them so, so much. So I'm just gonna jump right into it and just get started. And the first item is my new face moisturizer and this is by Bobbi Brown this is the vitamin enriched face base guys I love this one um, usually I don't try new things on my skin because I don't like to have any issues with my skin however I've been using the same Neutrogena one I believe I put it in my skincare routine and I tried this one from another um, youtuber and I just was like let me just try it but I love this guys I mean it is like $62 or 68 bucks but you only need a little bit and I have not broken out from this so I would highly recommend trying this out um, if you have sensitive skin it does have a slight fragrance to it there's a slight fragrance to it and um, but it's not too strong it's not too strong it doesn't smell like perfume or anything like that yeah 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 <laughs> so this is one of my faves for this month um the bobby brown face moisturizer also um the laura mercier what is this the medium deep the medium deep one i used to use the translucent powder one but i don't know i found that it made me look a little ashy and it's probably because i'm dark skin um it just, i just felt really really ashy in it so i decided to try this one before i actually tried the honey and this one works just fine with me um if you guys hadn't didn't know i never really used to wear foundation and stuff like that uh, i just was very afraid that it'll mess with my skin and but i've been using a particular foundation i'll show you guys in a second and i haven't had any issues so i i would recommend it and this is coming from a person who I don't play with my skin so I don't like to put anything on it that can potentially cause acne or any sort of breakouts um, but I like this one if you are my shade or deeper then I would recommend this I haven't tried the honey yet maybe I'll try it out too because uh, this does have like a little pinkish undertone to it but it doesn't really mess with my skin color um, but maybe I'll try that out too and maybe that'll be my January favorites but this is the medium deep translucent lucent powder by Laura Mercy. I also got the little powder puff and let me tell you something that powder puff I mean people are like oh no you don't really need it use a, a blending a blending brush um not a blending brush what do you call those things <laughs> a beauty blender <laughs> um but I like the I like the powder puff and it's like 15 bucks or 20 bucks and the foundation that I've been using is the NARS um sheer glow i do have the long wear one and i find with the long wear on my skin that it's too much coverage and i don't even think that even makes sense to some people but i like my skin to kind of peek through a little bit um so i i rec i would prefer this one um uh, if i was doing like maybe a photo shoot maybe i would use the other one because it'll last a little it'll last longer than this one but I don't have any problems with this one. No skin issues, no skin irritations or anything like that. The only problem that I have with the packaging is that it doesn't come with a pump. Like why doesn't it come with a pump? So you have to buy the pump separate, which I believe is like $5. I don't know why they didn't put a pump on here, but this is the, what, what color is this? And my color is Marquises. Marquises, yeah. Yeah, which is medium dark five um so i recommend this one over the other one in my situation but if you have any uh, acne scarring then this it may still work if you put some concealer on but if it doesn't then go with the long wear one um but again this is marquise's and i like it i actually have it on now i'm i don't wear makeup all the time guys but I'm trying okay I'm trying <laughs> so that's one of my faves and I think I'm gonna keep this in my staple um, I don't know if I would try multiple foundations because like I said I don't want any skin irritations to start popping up at the age of 40 so I'm, you might just see me with this and then I believe I have the the tinted moisturizer for the summer and I like that too it's a very very light coverage very light 
and I'm gonna stick with the face face for now and my lipsticks that I've been loving are by Mac and this one is a Chanel it's just um what's the name of this one chicness and it's not it doesn't give you a color I'm not sure if you guys can see that can you see that I'm not sure if you guys can see it it's like a it's like a brown color, but there's no color that comes on your lips. So it's kind of like a waste. However, I do like that it gives my lips moisture. So if I'm just in the house or right before I put on my lipstick, I would put this on. And this, I believe, was like $28. This is number 53. I mean, it's not worth it because it's just, a, you can use a lip gloss, to be honest. I thought it was going to give me some sort of color like this MAC one, but... It didn't it was just a luster and the two Mac lipsticks that I've been loving um, okay I don't like lipstick because I'm always looking at my lips and I feel like I'm gonna lick it off like a daggone child but these two uh, this is photo if you're dark skin like me I would recommend getting photo can you guys see photo oh man I, I hope you guys can see it let me see I don't know can you guys see that I hope so but photo is like a it's not a deep chocolate but it has like it looks like it has tints of a little bit of reddish in it so it's not too dark of a brown but I like this one because you can wear this every day and I usually pair it with chestnut liner and I usually tap in the middle so I'll do the chestnut liner I'll put the photo on and then I will actually add in myth in the middle now myth is kind of light but it almost gives me like a little ombre effect my lips are already dark around the edges and pink in the middle I get it from my dad <laughs> so what I do is I just kind of dab this in the middle a little bit and I'm out the door but I like this it's very natural it's not over the top um and I would recommend these two if you're a dark skin girl or even light skin or what well, actually it'll go with anybody. I just say in dark skin because it was hard for me to find a brown that I really liked and I like this a lot. So that's another fave of mine. So if you guys go to Mac and they're all gone, that's probably because Coco has them all. <laughs> I told you when I like something, I buy I buy all of them. Um and then I have some nail polishes that I've just been loving, actually from Chanel. And these are the two colors that I've been liking a lot. Um, my only issue is that the bottle is so small. But what I love about it is that it goes on sort of like a gel. It goes on like a gel. And one one is, this is the ballerina that everybody uses. It's a very light, light, light pink color. And the other one is Pirate, which is number eight. So ballerina is number... 167 and pirate is number eight it's not like a super bright red but it's it's pretty and this one is very natural you can wear it every day with whatever um but like i said the only issue is that they're kind of small but other than that i really like how it sits on my nails and it doesn't chip so i would highly recommend this and i also would recommend going on to the chanel website uh, I find that going to like Nordstrom's and stuff, they don't have all of the colors. And this is not the first time I noticed that with makeup, any um, any beauty products, because I realized that with NARS uh, foundation also. Uh, also did not have all the colors, but Nordstrom's actually had more colors. So uh, just do your research. And then the last thing is my perfume that I've been loving. So this is the Joe... I don't know did it focus I don't know did it focus guys I don't know this is the Joe Malone poppy and barley and oh oh my goodness oh this is not this smell is not for everyone but let me tell you mm, I love this and it stays on me all day um I'm very cheap with using it because it's not that cheap um but you don't actually need a lot and it stays on you all day long so those are my these are my my December favorites and I'm sure I'll have some more in January but um that's it guys if you like videos like this please comment below uh, leave a comment if you want to see anything else 
from me. Um, and if you stay to the end of this video, please hit that like, make sure you subscribe. And if you stay to the end, please comment Coco, we see you and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.